Okay, everyone, it's been a little bit less than an hour. I'm going to do my first coil stretch and fold. And the reason we do a coil stretch and fold is because you can already see all these bubbles here that are developing, and I don't want to pull those out. But I still want to give my dough some strength. Okay, so I'm going to wet my hands, and I'm going to do a very gentle fold. If I burst some of these bubbles while I'm doing it, it's fine, it's okay. Um, so I'm just going to separate my dough a little bit from the bottom. I'm going to tuck my hands in from the middle. My hands are just a little bit wet, not dripping or anything. I'm going to push my hands underneath and pull the dough, not even pulling, just a little bit until it releases itself. And then I'm going to put it right on top of it. So, something like this, okay? Just wetting the tips of my fingers, putting it on the rest of my hand. I'm gonna release it a little bit out of here so it'll be easier for me to pull. And I'm gonna do the same thing from the other side. You see, it's, I'm not even really pulling that much. I'm gonna try to let it separate by itself. And then I'm gonna fold it over itself, okay? can see something like this. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other side. And now the dough is a little bit stiffer than before because um, I've just did a fold. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it up from the middle and kind of let gravity do its thing and put it on top of itself. Like this. The other side, pull it up, and lay it over itself. And that's it. This was a coil stretch and fold. We're going to do three of these. Um, and uh, depending on your dough, you might need to do four. I like to do three normally, that's enough for this recipe. I'm gonna cover it again and let it sit for 30 minutes to one hour, depending on your temperature. Good luck.